All right, so horizon line, we're gonna do, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. I'm gonna make it like this big, okay? So. So the first thing is always, really with any form, um, to make a box. So we want to start any shape with a box and then, um, you know, try to extract a shape from it. So um, the front, you know what I did just backwards this time for whatever reason? I didn't start with the front edge, but there's my front edge. Um, so I would have, maybe I want the diamond to be like this big. Um, that would actually make a really wide diamond, uh, really narrow and wide. I'm gonna make this side a little wider so it feels more balanced. Uh, so making that into a box. So here's my box. Halfway down this box is where I would imagine like this, this is the kind of shape I'm trying to create, right? Like that? Yeah. So, um, this pencil isn't working very well. So if I want to find exactly halfway on the box, I'll just make a little X. So I know where this is going to go. You could always make a diamond that wasn't halfway. Uh, and then if I follow, you know, that center point out from the vanishing point and back, this is going to tell me where the, the edges, these two edges of the um, diamond are going to go. To find the top and bottom points, I'll actually need to put an X on the bottom plane to find where the center of that is. So right here would be this bottom point. Another X up here will tell me the top point. So now I have this point and this point, these two points. I also have all three of these points, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then these angles have nothing to do with linear perspective, right? They just have to do with where the angles would connect. So I'm kind of just connecting the dots here. And I'm going to do that with a colored pencil so it separates um, for you. So here's that center point. That would be that line. This is that line. This line. this line and that just happened to line up with this vertical line but it wouldn't necessarily have lined up um, it's okay. just it's just what happened but I would not expect that oh 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 I'm sorry I did it wrong guys I'm so sorry this is the center point I was like I wouldn't have expected that to line up let's try that again oh man how embarrassing. Okay. Amateur mistake here. Okay, do you see that? Yeah. That's what that was supposed to be. And now it's colored pencil. I can't even erase it and pretend it didn't happen. Oh, 
Oh, and then that's basically it. That's it. I made that more complicated than it had to be. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Now, if we were going to draw this, the only other thing I'll say is if we were going to draw this as if it were see-through, right? Because that's one of the options as well. Uh -huh. There there would be two other back edges. There would be this and this. I would just make that extra point in the back? Right. It would be the rest of, it would come to right here. It would be the rest of, there's something stuck to my ruler that just messed up my line, but... Um, yeah, it uh, it would go from this vanishing point and this vanishing point over here. So do you see how that's that would be the back side and this would be the back edge? Yeah. So the foreground, you know, um, line variation is so important with these to let things, some things come forward and other things go backward. So I'm just kind of making those lines a little heavier. Okay, that was so wrong. It's not right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Any other shapes I can draw? Um, I have a question about um, all of those. Yeah. So I really like how he does some of his stuff like